Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary. I make a lot of skincare and beauty related reviews on my channel. So if you're interested, then please make sure that you're subscribed. So you'll be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So in today's video, I want to talk about the Mama Earth Vitamin C Face Mask. The price of this product is 499 rupees and you get 200 grams quantity of this product. It comes in their tub packaging which the texture of this face mask is very similar to their Upton face mask. It spreads very easily and evenly on the face and uh, it gets uh, dried up also very quickly. This is a complete ingredient list of this face mask. Some of the key ingredients of this product are glycerin, kaolin, clay which is added in a lot of face masks for that texture and consistency. Uh, clay based face masks are very um, you know uh, easy and smoother to apply. Other ingredients are they have added some synthetic colors in it and they have also added, uh, added turmeric in this which is why it has that you know yellowish sort of color. They have also added synthetic fragrance in this face mask. They haven't mentioned the percentage of vitamin C used in this face mask and this particular derivative of vitamin C that is used it is known for its skin brightening properties. Uh, now talking about the claims that they have made on their website. So they say that it will make your skin bright, healthy and spotless, dermatologically tested, suitable for all skin types, paraben free mineral oil harmful chemical free these were the claims which they are made so, uh, when i use this face mask instantly on application i started getting burning sensation all around my mouth area and uh, i felt that okay this is going, going to give me breakouts but um, it did not cause any sort of breakout since maybe since this is a wash off product talking about the fragrance it does have a fragrance exactly like the vitamin c face wash so I think mostly all of uh, a lot of ingredients are very similar to the vitamin C. At least they use the same fragrance uh, in the vitamin C as well as the uh, vitamin C face wash and the face mask. And then after this face mask was like completely dried up, I started sweating from underneath the face mask, which is something that happens if I use a fragranced, uh, heavily fragranced face mask so i kept it for around 10 to 12 minutes and then i washed it off and after washing it off i was expecting at least that skin brightening property of this face mask since they have used a uh, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate which is known for its skin brightening properties but i did not see any brightening effect as well so um i'm quite disappointed i've tried the updan face mask and that one is really nice that one also contains fragrance but it doesn't cause any uh, you know sweating or burning sensation on my skin i have used that one for a very long time and i can say that one works for my skin uh, i do want to mention face felt slightly smoother the next day but that is all they have not even mentioned the percentage of vitamin c so i am sure it is like hardly anything because there is no skin brightening effect as well that i noticed see if your skin is extremely sensitive then you might want to avoid it because i felt like burning sensation my skin is acne prone but it is not like super sensitive so i would say that if you have highly you if you have very very sensitive skin please completely avoid this one the only good thing about this face mask is that it dries up quickly and it is and it washes off very easily you don't have to work hard and you know cleansing it off from the skin and that's the only good thing uh, they claim this that uh, it will make your skin bright healthy and spotless um, i didn't notice as i said any brightening effect on my skin healthy looking um, i want to say that it does feel slightly hydrating after uh, you know rinsing this face mask off i felt my skin slightly hydrated so uh, it will not cause you know complete dehydration and completely uh, stripping off of the skin of natural oils so that is one good thing so if you really want to see changes in your skin in terms of pigmentation and texture i think you should use a niacinamide serum or vitamin c with whichever ingredient better reacts with your skin you can switch to that but i have honestly uh, started using less of face mask ever since you know the serums have been introduced and have become common in the indian skincare market face masks 
are something you know that's not at all needed these days because of the good quality serums that are available in Indian market. Once upon a time there was hardly anything and we couldn't really um, use a lot of uh, things out there with actually potent ingredients since these serums and other um, you know exfoliating serums and hydrating serums are available in the skincare market right now so I don't think so we need face mask it is like an instant fix in case you're going somewhere for some occasion but if you have a regular skincare routine i don't think so you need any sheet mask or any other face mask anyways this is not a great product i would say that you can definitely skip this for the price and hardly any um hardly any difference uh, that this gives to the skin <laughs> So yeah, that is all from my overall review of the Mama Earth Vitamin C Face Mask. I hope you found this video to be useful and if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe for more such skincare reviews and you'll find a lot of these videos from the description box below. And that's it from today. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.